when using pen and paper for graphic design, you can draw straight lines very easily using a ruler. Even though we have rulers in PaintShop Pro, they don't serve the same purpose. If you want to create straight lines or place elements in a straight line, you can try to do it manually. You can try using a guide, which would work if you are placing the elements horizontally or vertically, but it won't always work for other projects where maybe the angle is different. But there's a very simple tip, and it is to use the shift key. So let's have the paintbrush, for example, and if I want to place the little dots in a straight line, doing it manually might be a little hard, but it's very easy if using the shift key. For that, I'll just rely here on that 100 pixels in my ruler, and I will just click on the start point, move, to the end of the line, hold the shift key and simply click. And you can see all the dots are even and straight because I use this guide. But I don't have to stay horizontal. I can click on one end here, hold the shift key and click at the bottom. And even more fun is that if I don't let the go of the shift key, I can go and continue my lines straight. So this might be very interesting, for example, if you want to write some letters that do have straight lines. Now I can just start over, click, hold the shift key, and I can get my lines straight. How can I use that? Well, I can use that if I want to have a border. So I'll just reduce the step and the size. And I can make a straight line for the edge. And go back. I was just holding the shift key. That's a very simple way to do it. You can use this technique for the brush tool, but you can also use it with the eraser tool. So for example, I will go to my base shape and I'll make a size, this is way too big, so I'm gonna go with 50. And the step size, I'll make them 200, so that's going to be 200% of the size of my brush. So I can click on the one corner, it will delete, hold the shift key, go to the other end, and you can see how I have this little cutout. And I go with the other corner, the other corner, and back to the first corner and that's something I have. If I'm not happy with the size, I can reduce that way more and create something that will look like a postage stamp. At least the old formats. But you don't have to use anything that has a brush tip, like a brush or an eraser. You can also use the same technique, but to apply picture tubes. So for example, if I want to add this rope all around my shape, which has straight edges, of course, I'll go and click once, hold the shift key, click, go to the other corner, click, and click, and I have straight lines. Of course, I can also do the same thing on a separate layer. So if I add a new raster layer, I can add this rope following 
the base square and remove the square and I just have a frame. Very simple and straight. And again, you don't have to have horizontal or vertical. You can add, let's add another one. I can go from this corner to the top, back down there. And I have another set of lines. I can go diagonally, just like I could have something using my eraser tool and make a perforated area as if I wanted to cut. So I can do something like this and something perforated that can be used later. Now that you know the trick, using the shift key to make straight lines, you can apply that to just about every tool you can use with the paintbrush. You can use that with any of these also, although the result might vary. You can even use that with the clone tool also, which can be really nice so you don't have to go one click at a time. You can use the shift key to clone in a straight line. Now it's your turn to use the shift key to create straight lines or place elements in a straight line. Have fun!